Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on a little flower arrangement here that I wanted to get done. It's supposed to be beautiful weather this week. Um, it's going to be nice, it's going to get warmer, and I need some flowers. I am so over this winter stuff. So anyway, I love these little buckets from um, our little planters, whatever you want to call them, from Dollar Tree. And this one I didn't realize it was all scratched up, but I do have another one here that I'm going to use. And what I did is I took the lettering off of it, and I'll show you how easy that is. It's really easy. Um, unless you want to leave it on there, that's fine too. And I'm going to be using a bunch of different flowers that I still need to cut out. But they have all these pretty flowers at the Dollar Tree. I love the lilacs and things. So I'm going to put those in there. And I have some of this too I might stick in there. And this is just foliage. Uh, that might look cute. And then I'm also going to use some of this reindeer moss that one of my lovely subscribers sent me because I have not been able to find it. But I love this moss because it's nice and green and it's soft and it's really easy to work with. And I have these butterflies. I don't think I'm going to use these. I think they're going to be too big for this. But these are pretty from Dollar Tree I picked up last week. But I don't think I'm going to use those. And then you're going to need some styrofoam to put down on the bottom. They usually have the... Um, uh, the green squares that you can get at Dollar Tree in the floral section. I thought I had another one, but I have my last one I think I used in this one. So anyway, I just had a piece that came in with a package that I had, and I trimmed it down so it's going to fit down in here. And I'm also going to use one of these round ones from Dollar Tree just to raise it up a little bit higher because I didn't have one of those nice square green ones from Dollar Tree. That would have fit perfect, but I'll use what I have. So anyway, let me show you how this stuff comes off of here, and then I'll show you what other decorations I want to put on this thing. So all I use to take this off is some um, uh, acetone nail polish remover. This I just picked up at my grocery store, and um, it's very easy. It comes right off of this stuff. You just put some on a paper towel. I'm not going to do this whole thing on here. Look, it just comes right off. Just like that. And I usually just get it all off and then I go back over it again with a little more acetone here. And then it cleans off real quick. See, look at that, how easy that is. It comes right off. Yeah, like I said, I did not realize that this was so scratched up. I may just have to paint this one and do something else with it. But anyway, I already started the other one there. I got all the words off of it. That's just how simple that is to get those off of there. And it's always a good idea, too, is just to wipe this whole thing down with a little bit of the acetone because um, it does have like an oily finish to it. And I'm going to use some stickers on this one. Um, I did one last year. This is how I did it last year. And I put some of the spider plants that they had, the, the fake ones from Dollar Tree, and it looked real pretty. And I just put some of this stuff on. This was all ribbon from Dollar Tree and a stencil from Dollar Tree. And... I just wanted to do something different bes between, besides um, jute or burlap or something. Just something different because I've been doing that to death and I thought this would be a fun project just to do something a little sparkly on here. So I am going to add a few of these stickers on here. I picked these up at Dollar Tree. These were in the Crafter Square section. They're just called metallic stickers. Um, they're, you know, a paper craft thing. And then I picked up some of the zigzag jewel border, and I really like this. And I figured I'll just stay in the um, silver colors here for this one. You could use whatever you want. They have a lot of other pretty um, border ones like this in different colors. So if you want to do a different color, that would be pretty cool too. But anyway, all I did, I already put some on this side to get a start, and that is how it's going to look. And I thought that would be really pretty. And it'll just be all nice and silver and gray, and then your flowers will be the the showstopper there. But these are just so easy to work with. Um, these jewel stickers, they come off in one long strip and then you can just stick them right on here. And it's real, they're really easy to work with. Uh, let's see, I want that to go just up underneath here, like so. This is just a really simple, easy, whoops, fun little project to do, and I love easy every now and again. There's no painting, there's no nothing. And look at that, it's just a tiny bit short on the top. I could have ripped it off and went around these things, but I'm just going to put them right around there like that. I'll get another little piece for that one. 
and I'll probably have it left over from the bottom because that's a little bit smaller. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick little fun project here today. Well, this one I'm going to flip around to make it match where I left off here. And let's see. There we go. Stick that around the bottom. And these things are really sticky. They stick very, very well. I wasn't quite sure if these were going to work on here, but they stick really well. And there we go. So that one I'm going to have to cut off right there. Where are my... There they are. My purple scissors. I try not to mess up my scissors here. There. And that will be the bottom of that. And then I just need a little piece in here. Let's see. I really just need... Um, hmm. Let's see if this will work. There we go. And that fills in that empty spot. But look at that. I figured something sparkly, something shiny. It's just been such a blah, I don't know what that is stuck on there, I can't get it off. Such a blah winter and all the snow we have is finally going away. That I was just in the mood today, the sun is out, I want to work with some flowers. Alright, so then I just took some of these stickers. Um, I took, they have, they have like a tape on the back, it does like the pop-up one, so it has this big thick foam tape on the back here, but I want these to be a little bit flatter, so I'm just going to hot glue these on here, um, which makes it even more easy peasy. I'll try to get this in the center. There, that looks good. Put that one there. Let's see, this one, I love these, these are pretty. Like little daisies. And I need another glue stick. These come off fairly easy. Of course they're not because, you know, I'm trying to do this on camera. So it's going to give me a hard time. But they usually just pop right off pretty easy. There we go. Let me grab another glue stick. And we're just going to put that one over here. glue down in there. Come on glue gun, there we go. That's better. I think that'll look pretty, just a little bit of, a little bit of sparkle. Alright, let me put this last one on here real quick. And then we can start on the flowers these out of the way. There we go. Put that one right here. That looks pretty good. There we go. And that is all I'm doing for the pot. Like I said, easy peasy. My favorite kind of projects. Alright, so now I'm going to glue this round one here. These come in a two pack at Dollar Tree. And these fit right down in the bottom nice. Glue that one into place, and then I'm going to take my big... This stuff was a mess. Like I said, this was just some packing foam, that styrofoam that came in with something that I've got. I don't even remember what from, but I save everything. <laughs> Why not, right? All right, and there's our foam in there. Like I said, one of those big green blocks that they have at Dollar Tree would fit perfect in there. So now I'm going to take some of this moss here, probably most of it, because this is quite a big container. And I want to make sure I have a lot of it up on top here. And then I'm just going to tuck some down on the sides of this. That way if you don't fill it in completely, if you don't have a ton of flowers, you won't see your um, little foam block. And then if you have a green one, if you're lucky enough, then you won't have to worry about that either. This white one's really going to show through if I don't put something in here. I love this stuff. This stuff is just so wonderful to work with. 
it's just soft. It really doesn't make that much of a mess. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. All right, so there's our greens. Moss, rather. Toss, oops, get a piece of paper out of there. There we go. And then you just need to decide on what flowers you want to use. I'm trying to go all springy here. I have some of these wildflowers that I want to use. Um, I think I'm going to put some of these right in the center because I like to kind of figure out how tall I want this thing to be. And then I kind of work my way around. I know everybody has their own way of kind of doing flowers, but and I move things around like a million times. I think that will be good. All right, and then let's see. We've got a couple more of these. I'm going to go ahead. I'll, I'll pause this video here for a second, and then I'll get some more of these cut out. But I want these to be my tallest ones here. Actually, I think I'm going to put this one in here because I cut it a little bit longer. There, I think that will look good there. Okay, so we're going to use that one for our center, and then I'll just stick a few more of these yellow ones in here. I love yellow, and then I like this because it's going to hang off to the side, so I thought that would be nice. I'm not usually a big fan of the, the greens because they're really kind of shiny, but I think it's going to work out just fine for this. Just to have a little bit of that hang over. And then I'm going to fill this in. I'm just going to do a couple of these here, and then I will cut the... Whoops! I just popped that right off. Um, I like to push the leaves all the way up, too. Let's get one of those. And this is always the hardest color for me to find at Dollar Tree, is the white lilacs. But I'm just going to fill these in. And these will just get a little shorter as we go. And I'm not going to put a ton in here. I'm just going to do you know, a nice amount of these, but I'm not going to really, like, over overfill it, if you will. And then these are thought were real pretty, too, so I'm going to use a few of these. Let's see how far can I push these up. There. I love lots of yellow in a spring centerpiece. Put that one back in there. And... Up you go. There we go. And can you guys even see this? I'm like getting carried away. Yeah, you can see. Okay, I was making sure my <laughs> camera wasn't too low. Um, let's see. I want another one of these. Let's put that one over on this side, and then I can fill it in with some more of the purples and pinks and whatnots. I thought that would look pretty. All right, so let me go ahead and cut out a whole bunch more of these. So i got to get some of these pink ones in here yet. And then we'll come back and finish doing this arrangement. All right, I got a bunch more. I actually swapped out this dark purple for these lighter purple uh, lilacs that I had. And I think that one looks prettier in there. Um, so I said, I change my mind a million times when I'm doing these. But anyway, I'm just going to stick another one of them down in here. And these I kind of angle a little bit. And then um, I'll show you on the other side how I angle the other ones. These I kind of angle out a little bit. And these I put, you know, the first ones I usually put straight down in there. And then for the ones on the front, um, let's see, what do I want here? I want the white ones in that I really just kind of put these like in an angle like this so they stick over the edge a little bit. So that's how I do mine. All right, and this one here, I'm going to use these in here. It's kind of one of the match over here. Whoops, I pulled him right off the thing. There we go. Alright, and then I took some of these and cut these off the um, 
What are they calling them? Foliage. There we go. And I just want to fill in a little bit with those. Like I said, I don't want a ton of flowers in this. Just to kind of everything peeking up through the grass and stuff for spring. I do think I want another yellow one over here, though. Oh, uh, let's see. Like I said, you can use any flowers you want. Um, ugh, I pulled that off again. I can't believe I just did that. <sighs> That's what happens when I try to move things too many times here. Alright, I really want that one up a little bit more. There, so they just hang over nice. And I think just on these sides, I'm just going to put some more of the, the green foliage in there just to fill in some of the little spots on the sides. Oops, look at that. <sighs> Try to get these pushed up towards the top. You know what? I'm just going to cut that off. All right. Put this one right down in here to stick over. thing about the fake flowers is you know you kind of bend them around the way you want them to go. And I think that is it. That is all I'm going to do on this one. Put that one down there on the side to fill that in. Our things hanging here. Oh, I didn't put any of those on the front. Alright. Uh, let's see. And that was from the yellow ones. Okay, they're on that side. Well, I like the way they're hanging out of there, but I don't have any more that look like that. So let's see if we can do something here with one of these foliage ones here. Yeah, that's not going to hang very nice. Let me if I trim it. What do you think? Trim this one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right, and I think that's all I'm going to do for this. Like I said, I don't want a lot of stuff in here. A lot of little greens peeking through. You know, everything kind of comes up in the spring, and you got your weeds, and you got everything else going on, and it looks so pretty. The rest of the year, you don't want to see the green weeds, but I kind of appreciate them in the spring after looking at all the dead stuff out there all year. I'm just going to stick one more over here. There, that looks more evened out. Alright, and that is it. That's all I'm going to do for this. And I think this looks real pretty. I'm going to clean up this mess and take a nice shot of this. And um, I will see you guys all next time. I hope you enjoyed this little project. Um, like I said, easy peasy. Takes a couple minutes and you have yourself a little spring arrangement. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this project. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day everyone.